Hi everyone. Um, like a lot of people have said, um, where do you start with all this crazy stuff going on? Um, I guess for me, um, what confirms the whole thing is a, a pandemic, for want of a better word. Um, is when you look at the timeline, you had um, Donald Trump being elected against all the odds um, in the US. You had the UK uh, voting to uh, leave the European Union a la Brexit. Um, so the One World Order, as I see it, uh, was starting to lose their grip on their plan for the world that they wanted to create. Um, as a result, we've had COVID-19 introduced from a laboratory in Wuhan. Was that deliberate or not? I don't know. But some coincidence. Um, you now have a situation where any you know, these are reputable doctors, um, Dr. Rashid Buttar, um, Dr. Judy Makovitz, um, Dr. Kaufman, um, and, you know, all various other doctors that we've probably all seen on YouTube and other, you know, media sources. Anyone that talks against the narrative um, is either deplatforms struck off i mean that in itself has got this you know set alarm bells ringing um so much for freedom of speech and it's not hate speech they're just reporting their findings their treatments on their patients um, and yet they're shut down so that to me is just you know just confirms that the whole thing is um, a planned and driven agenda. Um, I think, you know, a lot of people feel helpless, but um, if you haven't watched David Icke, um, then I'd suggest that's a really good uh, starting point because that kind of encapsulates probably everything that we um, are all kind of feeling and thinking. Um, but can't quite connect all the dots. Um, so I'd say definitely that's a good watch. Um, he was interviewed yesterday by Brian Rose. Um, so yeah, look it up. Just go to the David Icke's website. I think you'll probably get a link there. But um, yeah, I mean, what can we do? I think, you know, if we all say no to being muzzled, I mean, I went shopping this morning in a supermarket and I was the only one without a mask. No one said anything to me, but it is quite intimidating. But, you know, um, movements grow from doing, you know, small things. And I think if we all collectively do our P, you know, you don't have to go and wave banners about, but just by saying no, and refusing to comply with, you know, what I think is a nonsensical approach being muzzled for something I don't believe really exists anyway. Um, you know, even if it is a virus and it and then COVID-19 has it been properly isolated, um, everything I look at says, no, it hasn't. So how can they produce a vaccine if they haven't even isolated the virus yet? Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Um, but, you know, it's quite good to watch these and feel that, you know, there are other people that think um, are thinking for themselves and doing their own research and, um, yeah, moving forward with their lives, you know, and not complying with the narrative that's being pumped out by mainstream media and these so-called, um, you know, scientific um, gurus who invariably get everything wrong anyway look at uh, Ferguson and his modeling it's always vastly out but that's obviously because they're fulfilling their <laughs> their role in creating the fear and pushing the uh, the agenda that they're they're following I guess 
Sabía.